While we are moving on to the further, we just saw this night lights, and here's where the idea pops up. Like we should build something different with this lights. And we went to the highway, and we just filmed all those car lights for an hour, and the result looked something like this. So in this video, we're going to build an infinite light with three J's. For this project, we are going to be using 4 different types of JavaScript files, which is infinite lights, distortions, post-processing and 3.js. Alright, so we are going to add a uh, support CSS variable over here in order to check that uh, browser supports the CSS variables or not. Let's begin with instantiating geometries to create thousands of light and let's make the lights to move in an infinite loop. Let's create a frame rate independent animation to keep consistent on all devices and finally let's create a modular distortion to easy creation of new distortions. Alright so first let's manipulate DOM elements which is document object model which will help us in showing the output in the browser. Alright so then let's add cameras and uh, those fog elements in order to make the scene more realistic and let's add our asset files and we're gonna be using an init function which we're gonna be using it for speeding up the values and changing down these parameters and we're gonna be using an update function in which we're gonna be changing down these parameter values and once this method is called we're going to be changing the speed of the car lights and the rendering size as well and then let's add a distortion light so uh, since this is a highway scene we need a distortion light so this is why I used some mathematical term in order to make the light curve and then let's add a tube buffer geometry. So this is a tube that extrudes along the 3D curve and let's add some car light fragments. Similarly let's add some, uh, some other fragments. So let's add the same thing for the road as well by adding its fragment values. Let's make this light moving in a loop. Because we created two curve on the z-axis, moving the lights is the only matter of adding and subtracting the z-axis. We'll use the elapsed time, u time, because uh, time is always moving and it's pretty consistent. Let's begin with adding u time uniform and an update method. Then our app class can update the time on both the car lights. And finally, we'll add the time to z axis on the vertex shader. In our car lights vertex shader, we need to map its z portion as a distortion progress. And we'll add distortion effect by using some mathematical functions. Here's the result looks like. Rate this project down in the comment and I'll catch up with the next one.